at uh, foggy, foggy, foggy and wet crafers for the start of our world Royal Enfield day ride. Uh, we're going to travel across the southern Mount Lofty Ranges. Sorry about the car noise. Southern Mount Lofty Ranges um, down through uh, Mount Compass to our lunch spot at Cape Jervis and then on to McLaren Vale. So it's going to be a very challenging day. As you can see from uh, behind the camera in a moment, we've got a good turnout, lots of Royal Enfield bikes and a Scram bike and uh, some very eager riders. So we'll see how they go and we'll talk to you again soon.
scram group here today for a day ride. We're at the Cape Jervis Tavern. We've just had a fantastic meal. Anything from fish to pad thai to burgers, schnitzels, all the food is sensational. So if you're heading down towards Cape Jervis, pop into the hotel with a tavern here and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. back to McLaren Vale. Foggy this morning, we have rain, we've had mud, um, didn't have any hail which is good. Um, we had a little bit of sunshine towards the end of the day so everyone's had a great ride, no accidents, great job by the crew uh, and uh, a very successful ride for Yamaha Royal Enfield in Adelaide. So uh, well done to everyone that attended. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch our future and previous videos. We've got a fair bit of stuff on the YouTube now. Um, just having a bit of a go and uh, trying to show you some countryside. So uh, I'm Steve Truscott from SA Outback Motorcycle Adventures. And uh, we'll catch you on our next adventure. See ya.
talk about these two bikes. They're both exceptional value. Both of these are just under nine thousand dollars, and uh, similar but different. Okay, so they're both running a four eleven cc uh, air cooled motor. It's actually got plenty of torque. Okay, um, these bikes are well known for just plodding along, and uh, they'll get you pretty well wherever you want to go. Okay, so the Himalayan is probably the more adventurous one. It has a 21 inch front wheel, 17 inch rear, uh, comes standard with crash bars, um, framework on the back, and you can get a load of accessories for these. You can get uh, sump guards, you can get uh, aluminium boxes for them, uh, you can get special hand guards. So, extremely good entry point adventure bike. Um, if you want to dip your tie in the water and get, in, get involved with adventure riding, this is another great offering in the market. Um, it could be your daily commuter or it could be your weekend cruiser. So that's the Himalayan. Then they've also got the Scram. This one is really cool too. Um, this comes in a multitude of colours. In fact, that one does too. But this one, um, well, to me, it's just got that scrambler look all over it. You know, you can still take it out of dirt roads, have some fun, ride it to work, weekend cruiser. Good value. Um, the fuel tanks on these are about 15 and a half litres, I believe. So it'll probably get you oh, 350, 400 kilometres, which is pretty good riding. Okay. Um, the front wheel on this is slightly smaller. Okay. So if you're doing more off road, probably the Himalayan may be the better choice. But anyway, there we have it. A couple of bikes that uh, are with us this weekend. And uh, if you're interested in this sort of thing, go and see Yamaha World and Royal Enfield down on South Road and uh, in Adelaide. And uh, I'm sure they'll uh, look after you. That's it. Thank you.